Hi, welcome to this week's blog. It's been a while since we've done a blog. We will be doing them more frequently, but to begin this one, I want to begin with a question. How far will Russia go? You know, Russia has made some pretty bold moves with their military um, the first half of this year. Recently, they have announced that they are going to reestablish the submarine program, and, and these submarines aren't just your, aren't your typical submarine. They are capable of carrying 16 long-range nuclear missiles each on each submarine. They've also said they are going to reestablish the nuclear bombers and put those back into play. Um, they have taken some aggressive actions, both against America, some stuff that happened in, in February and down on the island of Guam, and also against Israel. You know, they've sold the, the, the S-300 anti-aircraft missiles to Syria, which Syria may good well, it may use against Israel. They've, they've backed Syria on the Golan Heights and kind of taken a stance against Israel. So Russia's been very aggressive with that. They also are, are opening a naval station. They were there earlier. They, they went back home. Now they're, they're reestablishing themselves in a naval station in Syria. It's in the port of Tardis. So now you have their battleships, you have their submarines, you have their, their bombers, all with nuclear capabilities, all being reestablished. And here's the big question. Why are they doing this? You know, I, I think we get the answer through Scripture somewhat. In Ezekiel 38, verse 10, it talks about the leader of Russia uh, having this, devising this scheme, this evil scheme. And this is the, the scheme that will eventually lead to conflict between Russia and Israel. Well, I think in world history, we're, too far, we're, not, we're, too, we're not far enough along for Ezekiel 38 to be fulfilled completely. However, with, this, with the leader of Russia coming up with this, this plan to control all of Europe with natural gas, could that be the evil scheme that Scripture talks about? It, it's pretty interesting because what Russia wants to do is they want to control all of Europe. 40% uh, of what Europe consumes as far as natural gas is provided by Russia. Turkey, which has been an obstacle in the past, 60% of their natural gas consumption comes from Russia. And in, in 2011, in July of 2011, Iran, Iraq, and Syria, along with Russia, decided they were going to build a, this huge pipeline going from the fields in I, Iran and Iraq over to Lebanon, and from Lebanon under the Mediterranean Sea and pump natural gas to Europe, which Russia would control. Well, that, that's, that would be, uh, make Russia a world power, power all over again. Now, what's interesting is how God fits into this, because in 2010, they found a huge natural gas uh, pot, you know, pot uh, in, in Israel, in Haifa. You know, and as the more they dug and the more they found, this is a huge find. And for the last three years, Israel has been developing this natural gas off of Haifa. And they're to the point, they're almost to the point to where they can take it and, and ship it out to Europe. So they also want to export natural gas. So here's the question. Will Russia and Israel come together and be the ones that will be kind of, you know, competing against each other, each other for the natural gas sale in all of Europe? You know, in Isaiah 45, it was a, a, a prophecy to Cyrus, but it said that Cyrus would find hidden treasure. And the reason that he would find it is for that Israel would prosper. And then in Deuteronomy chapter 33, as Moses was ending his, his life, he wanted to bless all the tribes. And one of the blessings he gave to the tribe up towards where this gas was found was that there would be hidden treasure. It is God's hand of hidden treasure with a gas, natural gas find off of Haifa, part of the prophecy being fulfilled. And as Ezekiel 38, with the leader of Russia devising an evil scheme, going to fit into this. It's going to be interest, interesting and fascinating to see how far Russia will go with this and what will happen. Will these two nations collide in this process? God bless you.